You probably know the classical planets of our solar system. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. But if you think the solar system ends at Neptune, you're very wrong. What lies beyond is so bizarre that even science is still trying to make sense of it. What exists in that frozen darkness that stretches beyond the last gas giant? The answer takes us to one of the most mysterious and unexplored regions of the cosmos, where the sun appears as just a tiny distant dot in the sky. A place filled with forgotten worlds, each with its own moons, frozen surfaces, collapsing atmospheres, and even rings where no one expected to find them. If you think you already know everything about the solar system, get ready to be surprised. Far beyond Neptune's orbit lies a vast region full of enigmatic celestial bodies. They're not classical planets nor just ordinary asteroids. They're icy objects with extremely elongated orbits, so long that some take over 10,000 years to complete a single journey around the Sun. For decades, we believed Pluto was the final frontier, the ninth and last planet. But that idea began to crumble as telescopes became more powerful and revealed an entire collection of similar bodies, each with its own quirks. Pluto was discovered in 1930 by Clyde Tombaugh and held the title of the most distant planet in the solar system for a long time. But in 2006, after the discovery of other similar objects, the International Astronomical Union decided to reclassify it as a dwarf planet. That's because Pluto doesn't meet all the criteria that define a planet, especially the fact that it shares its orbit with other similar bodies. And the more we explore this region beyond Neptune, the clearer it becomes that Pluto is just one among many. One of the first dwarf planets to challenge our traditional view of the solar system was Haumea, discovered in 2003. What's most impressive is its shape. It spins so fast that it ended up stretched, almost like an elongated egg. Its day lasts only four hours, one of the shortest among solar system bodies, likely due to an ancient collision. Haumea also has two known moons and surprised astronomers by showing rings around it, something previously seen only in giants like Saturn. It's located about 43 astronomical units from Earth, meaning it's 43 times farther from the Sun than we are. Another fascinating dwarf planet is Makemake, detected in 2005. It's the second brightest object in the Kuiper Belt, behind only Pluto. With a diameter of nearly 1,500 kilometers, Makemake has a surface covered in methane ice and takes about 305 years to orbit the Sun. In 2016, a small moon was discovered orbiting the planet at about 20,000 kilometers away. This allowed scientists to better estimate its mass and composition, helping place it within our solar system's categories. But none of these objects sparked as much debate as Eris. When it was discovered in 2005, it was thought to be even larger than Pluto. That triggered a massive discussion within the scientific community. If Eris was a planet, then shouldn't Pluto still be one too? Or was it time to rethink our definitions? In the end, the discovery of Eris ended up being the catalyst for Pluto's reclassification. Eris measures about 2,300 kilometers in diameter, has a highly inclined orbit, and a moon named Dysnomia. Its distance from the Sun is three times greater than Pluto's, and it takes a staggering 557 years to complete a full orbit. Venturing even farther into the outskirts of the solar system, we encounter Gong Gong, a dwarf planet discovered in 2007 that seems straight out of a science fiction story. With a diameter of about 1,230 kilometers, it lies more than 60 times farther from the Sun than Earth, a region so remote that sunlight takes almost nine hours to reach it. Gong Gong rotates slowly, taking approximately 44 hours to complete one spin. This slow rotation may be caused by the presence of its moon, Xiang Liu, whose gravitational influence subtly but steadily affects its movement. Gong Gong's surface has an unusual reddish tint, a sign of tholins, complex organic compounds formed by the interaction of radiation with gases like methane. These compounds not only give the planet its color, but also point to chemical processes that help scientists understand how organic material forms in extreme environments. There are also signs that Gong Gong may have an extremely thin atmosphere, made up of traces of methane slowly escaping into space. It's a reminder that even in places so distant and frozen, subtle dynamics are still unfolding. But perhaps the most intriguing object of all is Sedna. Discovered in 2003, Sedna is a true cosmic mystery. Measuring about 1,000 kilometers in diameter, its orbit is so eccentric that it can reach nearly a thousand times the distance between Earth and the Sun. To complete just one revolution around the Sun, Sedna takes more than 11,000 years. Yes, 11,000 years. 
for most of that time it stays so far away that it becomes invisible even to the most powerful telescopes. Sedna's unusual trajectory raises a lot of questions. What sent it into such an extreme orbit? And what else might be hiding in that vastness? That last question has fueled one of the most exciting hypotheses in modern astronomy. The existence of a ninth planet. Yes, a real Planet Nine. Not Pluto, not Eris, but something even bigger. Astronomers began noticing that the orbits of some of these distant objects, like Sedna and others, seemed strangely aligned, as if something massive and unseen were pulling their paths in a specific direction. This gravitational influence led to the idea that a large planet, possibly up to 10 times the mass of Earth, could be orbiting far beyond what we can currently observe. This possible ninth planet would lie hundreds of billions of kilometers from the Sun, with an extremely long orbit, possibly taking thousands of years to complete. And even with today's technology, no telescope has yet managed to observe it directly. But the search continues. Projects like the Vera Rubin Observatory are being developed specifically to explore these regions of the sky in greater depth and maybe, finally, give a face to this gravitational ghost. Meanwhile, new discoveries keep expanding our horizons. In 2018, astronomers found a body nicknamed Farut, located 120 times farther from the Sun than Earth. And soon after came Farfarout, an almost ironic name for the most distant object ever detected reinforcing the idea that the solar system is far more extensive than we once thought. These bodies, though small and remote, hold immense value for science. They are frozen relics from the birth of our solar system. Today, thousands of objects have already been catalogued beyond Neptune, and scientists estimate that tens of thousands more still await discovery. Each new object, each tiny moon, each strange orbit is another piece of the cosmic puzzle. These are clues that help us reconstruct the history of the Sun and the planets understanding how they migrated, how their compositions changed, and how the solar system transformed over billions of years. When we look at these distant worlds, often forgotten on traditional solar system maps, we're actually gazing at time capsules. Each of these frozen objects carries the memory of an era when the planets were still forming. They are like cosmic fossils, silent, untouched, and full of clues. By studying them, we get a glimpse into the turbulence that shaped our system the violent collisions, planetary migrations, and even the ingredients that may have sparked the origin of life. And this exploration is just beginning. With the advancement of space telescopes like Hubble and James Webb, and the arrival of new tools like the Vera Rubin Observatory, we are entering a new era of astronomy. These instruments will allow us to observe even darker and more distant regions, detect temporary atmospheres in remote bodies, identify unexpected chemical compositions, and maybe, just maybe, capture the silhouette of that elusive Planet Nine that so many astronomers are searching for. But beyond the scientific discoveries, there's something deeply human in this quest. By following the trails of these small worlds, we are pushing the boundaries of the unknown. We are saying, as a civilization, that we're not satisfied with the obvious or what's already written in books. We are paving the way for a more complete understanding of the place we call home and everything that surrounds it. For a long time, we were taught that the solar system was an organized place eight planets orbiting the Sun, each with a predictable path. But reality is far more chaotic, fascinating, and alive. There's a multitude of celestial bodies beyond Neptune, with characteristics as varied as they are surprising. Some with unexpected rings, others with slowly evaporating atmospheres, mysterious moons, abnormal rotations, and orbits that defy our understanding. And all of them are silently telling us that we still know very little. Pluto, once the last planet, is now merely the gateway to a much vaster world. A world we're only beginning to explore. It's almost poetic to think that the farther we look, the more we realize the solar system doesn't have a defined end. It keeps expanding in complexity and depth, revealing new secrets with each discovery. And that's why continuing to investigate these bodies is so important. They don't just challenge our scientific classifications, they also force us to update our view of the world. They remind us that the universe is bigger than we imagined, more dynamic than we assumed, and more beautiful than we ever expected. So, the next time someone tells you the solar system ends at Neptune, remember, that's only the beginning. In the outskirts of Pluto, along twisted and distant orbits, there's a true legion of worlds waiting to be discovered, and maybe, among them, hides the ninth planet, cloaked in the silence of space, subtly shaping the orbits of others like an invisible shadow guiding the dance of the stars. If you enjoyed exploring these mysteries with me, don't forget to subscribe to the channel,
leave a like, and turn on notifications. Share this with a friend who loves astronomy. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.